Hello everyone, in this video I will explain the dynamic lookup in Informatica Cloud. So what is dynamic lookup? In static lookup, uh, the data in the lookup cache does not change when the mapping task runs. But in case of dynamic lookup, the cache gets updated as per the changes when the mapping task runs. And if you enable dynamic cache, by default one new return port will be, an, will be included, which is called a new lookup row. Then uh, the value for new lookup row can be 0 or 1 or 2. 0 means there is no change in data. 1 means it's a new row. 2 means the record has been updated. The values for a new lookup row can be used for flagging the record as insert or update. When we enable dynamic lookup cache, a new tab, which is called field mapping, gets added in the properties. Let's go to Informatica Cloud. Let me create a mapping. Click on mapping, create, provide a name, then DYLKP, then select the source, let's go to the table, okay, in database, I'll use EMP table as a source, which has employee number, employee name, job, manager, hire date, salary, commission, department number. And I'll use EMP underscore SCD1 as uh, my target table. Click on source. Select the source connection. Now select the object or table. I'll use EMP. Let's uh, choose EMP. Go to the field and see what all fields yeah these fields are present now let's add the lookup click on this lookup dylkp you can see the incoming fields click on lookup object select the database select the lookup table we are going to do a lookup on the target table, so it should be EMP underscore SCD1. Multiple matches return any rows, let it be. Then lookup condition, as you can see there is a conflict. As the fields coming from source and the lookup tables are same, we have to resolve the conflict by adding a prefix in the fields which are coming from source so in this case i'll add uh, src underscore then lookup condition i'll compare the employee number from the lookup table with employee src employee number from source return fields in my case i'll uh, uh, delete all the fields except employee number, employee name, and job. Can delete this. Click on advance. I have to enable the dynamic lookup cache. As you can see, if I select dynamic lookup cache, you can see field mapping has been added. Then select this, then insert else update. Next thing is go to the field mapping, map the fields, employee name, job, now go to the target, you can see the fields coming from the source side, EMP number, employee name and job, these are coming from the lookup table, you can see here employee underscore scd1, new lookup row which has been added by default and uh, the remaining fields src underscore these are coming from the source table click on target select the database select the target table it's emp underscore scd1 in my case uh, i'll use data driven configure 
what I will do, I will do a insert else update based on the new lookup row value. Click on fields. If the value of C is equal to 1, then did insert. Go to constant, click on this, otherwise, did update. So validate it. Now the expression is valid. Go to target fields. You can see these are the fields which are there in the target table. Then click on field mapping. You have to map the fields. Employee number, employee name, job. Manager, hire date, salary, commission, department number. So this is done. Click on save. Now the mapping is valid. So another thing what I want to do is I want to see how the values are coming um, for look, new lookup row field to find that I'll add one more dummy target let's create a target map the fields from the dynamic lookup click on target I'll mention as TGT TGT dummy LKP dot CSV Let's see what all fields are coming. You can see these three fields are coming from the lookup table, new lookup field, default table, default field, and the remaining are the fields are the which are coming from the source table. Click on target, select the connection, target connection. Now select the file, target file. In this case, I will create it dynamically. So I'll mention as a TGT. LKP dummy CSV now save it let's go to the table in source I have one record employee number 6666666 and employee name Kumar and in my target no records are present now let's go and uh, run the mapping go to my jobs yeah it's running now succeeded it shows two records let's go to the target target gmp underscore scd1 refresh this you can see one record has been loaded now go to the target file directory and refresh it you can see the dummy target file has been generated let's see what is the value for new lookup row it's one one means it's a new record so now name this let's go to the database in source this time what I will do I won't change anything for this record I will I will create a new one that is three 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 name Roshan Roshan Mahapatra, then job is uh, sales and user ID 7698 7698 hired at null let's salary as uh, uh, 
department 10. So this is the new record. Let's commit it. So Kumar was the old record, it's the new record. Now let's run this. Go to my jobs. Those are which yet to run. Yeah, it's running now. Let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah, it succeeded. Hmm, okay, so what we did, we added a new record in the source table. Let's go to the target, LMPSCD1. You can see the new record has been uh, inserted and the old record, no change. Let's go to the file and see what is the value. As you can see here, for the old record, the new lookup row is zero. And for the new record, new lookup row value equal to one. That's why, so there is no change for this record. And there is, this record has been inserted in the target as it's one, fine. Let's save it. Let's go to the image. This time, what we will do, we won't update anything for this record. We'll, uh, we'll modify this record, Kumar, Kumar JR Jr. and job is HR Senior. So we have modified this record. We have not done anything for this uh, second record. Let's save it and we will insert a new record so that we can uh, see the three conditions three scenarios let's make it to one two one two name name as Ignis architect seven six nine eight Added <coughs> department twenty. This is what we did. We have not updated anything for this record. We modified this record and inserted that record. So this record combination should satisfy our uh, three scenarios. Let's go to the mapping. So run the mapping now. Click on my jobs. Let's see what records are there in uh, this one. Okay, so three records are already there now. You can see uh, this record has been uh, inserted. Uh, this has been modified. Let's go to over. item of all it has not come zero two is it not there not 
okay yeah i got it actually instead of updating the source table i have already updated the target okay let's uh, modify this okay in this case i won't make any change in this kumar hr i'll modify this sales junior then insert a new English has 5678 and So we inserted the one record and the modified one record and I did not do any change in one record. Let's go to the mapping and run it. It's running now. Yeah, it has succeeded. Mm, let's go to the mapping. Uh, sorry, the table and see. The new record has been inserted. And uh, this has been updated. Okay, let's go to the file. And uh, you can see here new lookup value zero means no change we did not uh, do any change for this record in the source side that's why the new lookup value is zero and um, and this record we have added newly that's why it has uh, new lookup as one and uh, we have modified sales it was sales so we added uh, sales junior something that's why the new, new lookup value became two accordingly records got loaded and we have implemented a cd type one uh, using this lookup dynamic lookup to see the mapping that you can do if you don't have any surrogate keys or anything and you just need a uh, insert else update that you can perform using in this uh, process source a target a dynamic lookup and in target side make it as uh, data driven operation as data driven then provide the condition you can mention based on the new lookup row did insert or did update then we will be able to implement a cd type one thank you